morning and welcome to week two of morning mobility. Tight hips are a huge problem for me because I pulled a muscle in my low back about three years ago and so it affects my hip flexors. Um, so if you have some kind of back injury, you might have tight hips. If you work at a desk, you might have tight hips. I feel like all of us in 2020, if you didn't have tight hips before, now you have tight hips. So today we're gonna to focus on opening those up. So this is perfect for anyone who's going into a long work day, especially if you sit for a long time. Yeah, so that's kind of like the spiel. Let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna start, I'm gonna move my mat a little bit further away. But we're gonna start laying down. So if you wanna start laying on your mat, we're just gonna take two deep breaths right here, breathing in through the nose. Filling up the belly with that inhale and breathing out through the mouth, letting all the air go, sending the belly button towards the spine. Let's do one more big breath like that through the nose, belly to the ceiling, and exhale through the mouth, sending the belly button towards the spine. On your next inhale, I want you to pull the knees into your chest, breathing the belly into the thighs, and exhale, squeezing those knees in just a little bit tighter. One more breath right there, breathing the belly into your thighs, and exhale, belly button to spine. Good. From there, we're going to drop the knees, and we're going to slowly start to just windshield wipe the legs back and forth. You can bring your arms out by your sides, both shoulders stay on the ground, and we're just wiping the knees from side to side. I am laying like right on this cliff. <laughs> And it hurts my head so much. Probably should have done a ponytail. This is why I solely wear high ponies. Because you never have this problem with a high pony. Back and forth. Let's try to get four or five on each side. And T spine rotation. Good. We're going to hug the knees in one more time. Breathing the belly into the thighs, letting it go. Start to kind of rock yourself back and forth until you're all the way up. I'm gonna face you, but you can stay where you are if you like. We're gonna come up in this seated position and just start to windshield wiper the legs back and forth. So really similar to what we were doing on the ground with our shoulders down. Hello. Good. Keeping that windshield wiper back and forth. So if this feels good, this feels easy to you, what I'm going to have you do is just spread out the legs a little bit wider so that when you come to the side, we have two 90 degree angles. So these are called 90 90s. Same thing, going back and forth, hitting that 90 degree angle over here. Good. And if you want, you can even add a little stretch over, over the hip. Bringing it back up to the other side, bend it over, bring it back up, we're going to bend it over on an exhale, bring it back up, let's do one more on this side, inhale it back up, and then whatever your second side is, go ahead, finish, so that you're even on both sides and meet me back in the middle. From there, we're gonna get into a half kneeling position. So I just totally cut my head off, huh? We're gonna lean it forward and back. I want you to really think about keeping the heel on the floor the whole time. So if that's what you have, good, leave it there. Bring it right back. So go as far as you can, leaving the heel on the ground and bring it right back. That was three. We're gonna do this five times total. So here's four. Bring it back. Here's five. Bring it back to the middle. We're gonna put both hands down and then just straighten that back leg. Wiggle it out so that now you're in a deep lunge. Getting that little stretch, we're gonna drop the back knee. Hanging out here for a second, taking some deep breaths. You might start feeling the stretch in this hip flexor on the back side. Deep breath here, good. So if this feels easy, we're gonna chill here for a few more seconds. If this feels easy, you can put your hands up on your hip. And if that feels good, you can bring your hands all the way up. So that's just gonna give more pressure 
into the knees. Sorry, you can't, you can't even see me. It's gonna put more pressure into your hips. Sorry, I said knees before. Put more pressure into your hips, open things up a little bit deeper. So for me, hands on my hips feels pretty good. Sorry, you can't see my head. We're just gonna take a couple deep breaths right here. Let's do one more together. Inhale and exhale, bringing the arms back down. We're gonna take our left arm, yes, left arm, and bring it up to the ceiling. So we're getting a nice little T-spine stretch here. And you can cross it, twisting the other way. Let's do two. And cross. Last one, three. I'm a liar. We're gonna do one more, four. And cross it. Good. From there, we're gonna let the front knee just kind of fall out to the side. So let me face you so you can see. I'm in my deep lunge position, and then this front knee is just gonna open up to the side. We're gonna hang out here for a couple breaths. <laughs> Again, thinking of that belly breath, breathing in through the belly as if you had a balloon in your stomach, and on your inhale, you're blowing it up 360 degrees, and then on the exhale, you're letting all of the air out. Try that together on an inhale, and then exhale. Good, and bring that back to the middle. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So this time I have my right foot forward. Starting in that half kneeling position, we're leaning forward and back. We're doing five of these. Forward and back. Three and back. Four and back. Make sure your heel is staying on the floor the whole time. Forward and back good getting into that deep lunge so bringing it forward straightening up that back leg and then dropping the knee once again we're going to hang out here for a couple of breaths you can either keep the toes tucked or you can lay your foot flat whatever's comfortable for you again just as a refresher if this feels good you can bring your hands up on your hips if this feels good you can take it all the way up so this is going to be our most advanced option to put a little bit more pressure in the hips a little bit more weight in the hips this is a little bit easier, and this is for our beginners right here. So I'm gonna come right up here, I will swim all the way up. Whew, we are not quite there yet, okay? <laughs> We're working on it, Jane, calm down. Have my hands on my hips, getting that nice deep stretch right there. Couple more breaths. One more inhale all together. And on your exhale, we're gonna bring the hands flat on the floor. We're gonna take the right hand, scoop it up to the ceiling, Take a deep breath and bring it back down. You can go the other way. So we're getting a little bit of a twist in the spine here, bringing it back up and crossing it away. Inhale it up, this is three. Exhale it down and cross. Last one, inhale it up, four. And exhale it down. Good, and then we're just gonna do that thing where we let our knee kind of fall out to the side just a little bit, taking some deep breaths right here, getting a little bit deeper in the stretch, just letting gravity kind of take your leg, do with it what it will. A couple more breaths right here. Good. Good, shake that out for a second. Our next stretch is gonna be like the most intense one, I would say. This is a frog stretch. So I'm actually gonna kind of readjust my space a little bit, just so I have a little bit more room. One day, okay, I'll have a big studio space and a wide lens camera and a microphone. So, you know, stick around because one day I'm manifesting, it's gonna happen and then we won't have to move as much. So I'm bringing my legs right up to the side, almost like I'm in a really deep tabletop position. So my legs are out to the side right there. And then I'm gonna let my feet fall and put my forearms on the ground. You can stay up if that feels a little bit too much or if that feels good, you can bring those hands down. So this is a frogger, okay? And you can lean it forward and back. When you bring it back, I have lint on me. That's when it's gonna feel a little bit more of like an intense stretch. Do a few more of these right here, forward and back, forward. Harley is barking away now. <laughs> and back, 
Good, stay with that if that feels good. If that feels a little bit easy, you're looking for something a little bit deeper um, in the stretch, then what you can do is start to drive that hip to the floor as you lift the leg up. So on the other side, I'm bringing my right hip to the ground and I'm rotating that leg out. Feels so silly, <laughs> but it's a great stretch for your hips. Three. And four, let's do one more on each side. I'm just rotating as I let that hip fall. Notice that even my whole body goes to the side. So as I bring that right leg up, my whole body shifts to the side. Good, slowly start to come out of that. Again, that's kind of an intense stretch. So you might feel that super deep in your hips. Let's get a little bit of a wiggle right there. <laughs> just kind of releasing the whole thing. We're gonna find ourselves back on our mat, squeezing the legs in, taking a couple of deep breaths, belly to thighs, ignoring the fact that my clip is piercing a hole in my head. One more, big breath. We're gonna finish off with Happy Baby, which is one of my like all-time favorite stretches ever. <laughs> so we're going to go in right through the middle, hook our fingers around our big toes, and then bring it out to happy baby. I like to just remind myself not to like force my, my hips too much. Just kind of keep it nice and easy. You can start shifting from side to side if that feels good. I feel like I get a little bit of a massage in my back, you know, when you do this. Just shifting back and forth, nice and easy. It should feel good, it shouldn't feel forced, it shouldn't feel, you know, like anything too crazy. We just woke up, you know, so this whole, this whole morning stretch, we just wanna keep them nice and easy, keep it feeling good. We're just getting ready for our day. And let's hug those legs in. A couple of deep breaths right here. You know, we're about to head into our work week, so maybe think of something that happened over the weekend that you're grateful for. Something that really just made this weekend awesome. You know, even on the bad weekends, even on weekends where it feels like the weekend wasn't long enough, you know, like you didn't get everything done that you wanted to do, there's still a lot to be thankful for. That is our morning mobility. Hopefully by now, I mean, my hips feel pretty stretched out. Let me know what your favorite stretch from today was, and I'll definitely incorporate that into other videos. Um, next week, we're gonna be doing a spine and chest opener, so get excited about that. I'm gonna upload these every single Monday at 6 a.m., so no matter what time you get up, you can have a morning mobility ready for you. And I will see you all next week.